This just in, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Going into space, mathematics, quantum mechanics, the secrets of the universe, it's all intro music. Speaking of music, uh, this is for my music peeps to get us started real quick. Uh, if you know anything about time signatures, like drumming, you know, tempo and time signatures for songs. Um, here's a fun fact for you. Early in her career, Kate Bush was known for using unusual time signatures in her music. At a time when most artists were doing 4-4, Bush did 9-11. <laughs> start us off with a little comedy no but uh yeah speaking of music you know first of all intro fire second of all last night i'm walking around in old downtown and uh there's a little i guess we'll call it a cafe you know those places they have like vine on the walls and there's like they're like these little like like, little little tables like you can barely like, Hasbula wouldn't even really be able to sit on it. It'd be, like, too small for him, you know? Or Gary Coleman. Um, life is short. Yeah, a midget told me that. But anyways, the, the, you know, the little intricate tables and the, the the French doors and the vine, right? Little little cafe of Duvois, if you will. I'm walking past one of those last night. People are sitting there with their pretentious... $80 omelets, right? Drinking out of their little espresso cups with the fucking pinky out, you know? And uh, it's funny, across the street, there's a, uh, there's a there's a woman. I'm not going to go ahead and assume her gender, but let's just say she was a woman. Uh, she was either 13 or 49. Nothing in between. You ever look at somebody and you just go, you're either a teenager or... Or you're like in your 40s, but you're definitely nothing in between. You, It's so odd to me. Uh, she was like that. She looked like that. And anyways, she was uh, playing a guitar. She had herself a guitar. And she was playing, you know, GBE or whatever, basic chords. Uh, and she was singing, but her voice was not good. Okay, it was not even, it wasn't even mid. I mean, her voice was ass, okay? And I'm not trying to be a dick by saying ass, but her voice was not pleasant for for me or for anybody else eating in that restaurant across the street. And it was just funny because... The people who have the audacity to play their music on the streets while you're trying to get to know your son in the middle of a steak dinner and ask him about school so he doesn't get a resentment and go shoot up second period, you have to be interrupted by this snowflake of a musician? Let's just call a spade a spade. She wasn't good, okay? I said it. Um, Randy Jackson said, that's going to be a no for me, dog. It just wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't good. It wasn't catchy. It wasn't pleasant. Her voice sounded like, uh, 
like she was like whining like a crybaby, like one of those toys from back in the day. And it was just it was just a lot. I and I, I couldn't I couldn't help myself but fucking laugh as I was I just was walking right past this little cafe of France and boom, I just busted out laughing. I probably spit all over the uh eighty dollar omelets that they were eating on those little miniature Hasbulla sized tables, but you know, um, just thought about that, thought it was fucking hilarious, and, uh, yeah, just some people, I feel like, are so, uh, selfish and self-centered, and they just assume that you want to hear them belting their dream at you while you're trying to get some, you know, dinner on a Saturday night? Come on, man! You know, talking Joe Biden, come on, man! Trying to, Trying to raise my son here at the table. I only got him for two hours on visitation. Then I got to take him back to his mom's house so I can go fuck uh, his uh, his music teacher, you know? Uh, man, it's just cringy, you know? It's, it's just, it's, it's a little bit cringy. So, uh, speaking of music and good music, I fucking love music. I think my favorite of all time is classic rock. I think I want to do an episode... Um, you know, maybe uh, not not now, but later on. Um, you know, my my history with uh, guitar and how I got started in music and the types of music that I started learning and classic rock and you know, um, fun fun stuff music. Uh, but I'm not gonna go sit there on fucking uh, you know College Street and you know busking you know asking you for fucking change screaming in your ear while you're trying to find the directions to a uh, chipotle on your phone you know i just don't i just don't get some people you know some people have um a real lack of self-awareness la- real lack of self-awareness and uh you know god love them but uh <laughs> so going to a concert tonight i don't go to concerts really i'll be honest with you uh I- i'm not a big fan of large crowds i like live music but I'm not all like, oh, dude, let's hit up some shows, bro. Just not really my thing. Now, there's been some cool shows in Asheville that came this summer in. I probably wish I would have went to some more. Uh, Bonnie Light Horseman, great. Uh, uh, she's awesome with her band. And uh, who else was here? Boniver, Boniver, or however you say it, Boniver, you know, Bo- Boniver at my little French Voulez-Vous avec what restaurant. <laughs> Uh, bon Iver, yeah, they were here, um, and, uh, Bonnie Light Horseman, and, uh, Rainbow Kitten Surprise, you know, but, uh, tonight we're going to see, um, the man, the myth, the legend, Trevor Hall, Ron Priya Das, the Salvage Station, uh, he's a G, uh, and it's gonna be fun, man, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be a fun time, when I was here about four years ago, when I moved here originally, I was an outpatient, as some people may know, uh, for treatment of drugs, and my therapist was a cool guy, and uh, we won't say his name. We'll we'll just we'll make up a name here. We'll say his name was uh, Steve. You know, we all everybody knows a Steve, right? Uh, so I I was here for about a month at the time, four years ago, and Trevor Hall was coming into town, and I really wanted to go, and he knew I wanted to go. He was my therapist. I said, "Sorry, man, I can't let you go. Like you're." You know, you're still detoxing, right? Like, we can't send you to a concert right now. You know, God forbid someone passes you the devil's lettuce. So I was pissed. I didn't go. But uh, I wasn't pissed. I was just like, all right, well, I'll see him next time. And uh, <laughs> this will be my third time seeing him since that incident. So, you know, not today, maybe tomorrow, guys. You know, it's not the uh, last chance for a lot of things, you know, but. Going tonight to that, and uh, me and my friend, uh, who we'll call Steve, we, uh, no, his name's Alex, great guy, uh, you know, we train jiu-jitsu together, we're, we're, we're good friends now, and um, it's just, it's going to be cool because, you know, I couldn't go four years ago, and now me and him are actually going together, and so it's just kind of like a sentimental um metaphor to show you know where him and I have both come in all these years Um, because he's obviously done a lot of growth in four years too I'm not going to sit here and be so self-centered like that girl singing on the streets and 
think I'm the only person who's grown in four years, you know. Um, so him and I, we're, we're going to celebrate that. A buddy of mine, Brian's coming from Charlotte. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fucking good time. It's going to be a good time, you know. So, um, yeah. Anyways, checking in, checking in, checking in on you. How's your weekend going? What are you doing this weekend? You, uh, you off work? You got to work? Are you having fun? What are you doing? What are you doing? You taking time for yourself? Um, I'll tell you who's not taking time for himself is uh, old Teflon Don. Still in the news, man. They're talking about, oh, this guy still had the nuclear codes. And, you know, the search at Mar-a-Lago, uh, the FBI took 11 sets of classified material from his home. Uh, and uh, sick fucking FBI people. They were in the um, private residence of Melania and Donald, uh, and they were in in her, um, you know, what do you call it? Her room. Her, uh, you know, probably sniffing her panties, dude. These guys are fucked up. But uh, he got nothing to hide. They're not going to do anything. They're going to, they, you know, they, they won't have anything on him. Um, you know, I've said it before, but uh, they keep trying to get this guy out of office, two impeachments. Uh, January 6th, which was a huge thing. Um, kind of wish I was there. Shh. Uh, bunch of New York investigations, and now this. You know, it's like, fucking let it, you know, give, give it a rest. Uh, Hillary and whoever's in charge of that stuff there. Because um, you know who's not in charge is uh, fucking Brandon. You know, he ain't, he don't, he's asleep. He's, he's, he's gone. He doesn't know where he's at. He literally doesn't know what planet he's on. So, um, what else? Went to Aldi today. Really good grocery store. Aldi's interesting because it's like you, you almost feel like you enter Europe when you go in there. Uh, cause you know, you, 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 you don't, they don't have like grocery bags and, uh, they don't have like normal, like brand name, like Doritos and like, you know, Coke. I mean, you could probably get some Coke in the back, but like, no, they just, you know, they just have like cool stuff. Like I got, you know, uh, some yogurt, some spinach, you know, some non bread, non dude. Uh, got a lot of energy today. I rolled jujitsu this morning, drinking a lot of caffeine pump for tonight's show. And, uh, just trying to be an overall, like, what do you call it? Um, entertaining commentator, really trying to just up my game, up my level. And uh, at the same time, always stay true to to myself. You know, uh, I'm an outspoken dude. I'm I'm pretty uh, extroverted, but I like to spend time indoors. You know, so I guess I'm an introverted extrovert. Wow. Okay. I hate when people say that shit. It's like you're one or the other, dude. But tomato, tomato, right? Um, you can, honestly no. I I go back on that opinion because you can't be only one or the other that's like saying the only way you can believe in politics is democratic or republican it's like it's a spectrum how about the middle you know moderate or how about being a libertarian um or a communist no but you know you're telling me there's only two political parties but there's 37 flavors of coke you know, orange coke vanilla coke cherry coke you know ivermectin coke um, pizza gate coke it's like pedophilia coke is there's so many types of coke now that you could just get any flavor but you can only choose two tickets uh red or blue and so uh you know which side i'm on no i'm just kidding here but uh yeah so oh and the other thing i wanted to touch on real quick uh this is probably gonna be a shorter episode because i gotta go to the show i got things to do people live in my life god is good um, so the IRS, you know, I talked about three letter agencies on the last pod, but it's fucking nuts. They hired, uh, 87,000 new agents. Okay. And the job description says must be willing to use deadly force if necessary. Okay. Do you understand the severity of this? Put it this way. The deep state is trying to defund police who are here to arrest criminals and, you know, take, take drunk people off the streets and stop violent crime 
and rape and, you know, drug, all that stuff, but they want to defund that. Okay, but then they want to hire 87,000 goons to come knocking at your door and pull you out of your house if you owe, you know, a $3,000 tax bill? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem very American to this guy, all right? I don't like that. This is my pod. I can say what I like and don't like, and I don't like that. So, you know, to the IRS, I hope you hear this because fuck you. Come after me. I owe you money, and I'm going to fight it till the death. That's right. Probably lose, but I will not go down without a fight. All right? So um, just uh, plowing along here. I'm a big fan of uh, these memes lately. I have just a whole meme channel on Discord. And um, one of them is just, it says 9.09 p.m., 9.10 p.m. And then there's just a picture of Bush's face. And then it says 9.12 under that. That's fucking hilarious. Um, And the other thing I wanted to say was, you know, with uh, monkeypox, are you serious? Really? Monkeypox? Uh, yes. You know, it's just kind of ironic that two months after uh, Pride Month, monkeypox is a huge, um, you know, uh, pandemic amongst the homosexual community. Nothing against the gays, you know. Uh, to each your own ways, you know. If you want to put your thingy in a stinky butt, go for it. But uh, not for me. And, uh, you know, it's just, um, is it a coincidence that two months after, uh, you know, your, um, your, your company's logo was a rainbow flag and they were forcing it down your throat, um, almost literally for some people in the Castro district, but yeah, so, and then now it's uh, monkeypox. So I don't know. I mean, I just, I think it's kind of ironic. We'll, we'll, we'll just say that. Okay. Uh, we'll just we'll just say that. Um, what else happened? You know, we had uh, the game dissed Eminem. Um, it's called the Black Slim Shady. I don't know why they're beefing. I think it's uh, more for, you know, um, clout, right? Um, Eminem, obviously, you know, one of the best rappers of all time. Did he go woke? Yeah. Um, is his new music good? Absolutely not. But his old music is some of the best of all time. So uh, forever we'll still respect and love Eminem for his music. You know, a lot of people who do hate on Eminem nowadays, that's like that's like talking shit about Michael Jordan when he was on The Wizards. You know, it's like, look what he did before he was on The Wizards. Six rings, hello, you know. Uh, I think uh, that's the comparison I wanted to make with that. And um, I don't know, a- anything else going on in, in, in this world today? Um, oh, yeah, man. So, you know, I'm just out here trying to, uh, you know, better myself and, you know, do things that I love. I, I really like recording this podcast. I don't really care, again, who listens to it because I'm just venting. It's for me. It's cool. It's like sharing at an AA meeting, you know, except I don't have to be surrounded by a bunch of self-involved uh, narcissists, you know, sociopaths or whatever. But uh, speaking of podcasts, you know, I did reach out to Ben Avery is good on Twitter in the direct message. Said, hey, Ben, huge fan of the show. Been listening for years. You and Tim have gotten me through some rough times, and I was really happy to see you use my art as an avatar. Yes, he did change his Twitter avatar to something I made. That's sick. Uh, I was wondering how much it would cost for a quick ad read on the show for my podcast. I just started. Thanks, Kai. So really hope he sees that. We'll let you know, let you stay tuned. Um, I'll take a retweet. You know, smash that fucking like button. I love when Tim says that. But it's so true. It's so true. All the YouTubers... They, they get so aggressive when they say smash that like button. <laughs> um, but uh, what was I what was I talking about before the, the like button? Um, something that I dislike. Again, yeah, the IRS agents, 87,000 of which. And um, 
forgot to mention this part about about it, but um, seven hundred thousand dollars worth of ammunition. Um, that's a um, that sounds a little bit low, to be honest. Seven hundred k. You mean they only have enough ammu- ammunition for two Lamborghinis? Like, why not three Lambos? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. That's uh that is pretty alarming though. Like straight up, think about that real quick. The IRS, the people who you think are just fat slobs with with crusty Dorito fingers calling you or or answering the phone when you call them about you know your um, income taxes. Now they're gonna have fucking guns. I don't know about you guys, but. I'm strapped to the teeth. Um, I'm actually getting my concealed carry in about two weeks. so Or at least taking the class. Everybody's like, it's going to take six months before they mail it to you. Is it? Because that's what you said about my purchase permit, and it took like two weeks. So, um, I believe again, I believe nothing of what I hear. I, I'm a doer. I do things, and they work out for me um, when I put in action. Okay. If I just sat here and said, man, I wish I had my concealed carry, yeah, it would probably take six months, but bitch, I have my class in two weeks. I'll have that concealed before you know it. Little Glock 43X in the waistband. Shoot, freeze, motherfucker. So that'll be fun. Uh, Guns are cool. Um, You know, guns don't kill people. People kill people. Yes and no. I mean, the gun does do the the killing, but... uh, the word, the word I was trying to think of last week was mind control. Speaking of guns and killing and uh, school shooters, right? Mind control was uh, what I think they're doing to these kids who are shooting up schools. I think that's what they're doing, experimenting with their mind and using forms of mind control, whether they be using like certain types of drugs or hypnotherapy or, you know, Reiki. Or, you know, unbalancing their chakras. I'm just kidding. That stuff's bullshit. I don't believe in any of that. People that pray to crystals, can you just stop, please? I mean, I get it. Crystals look cool. But they're not breathing life forms. And they they don't... I mean, at least use like a fucking tree. You know, a tree has roots and grows. But a fucking crystal you bought at uh, Sam's Club, you know... And you're going to say it's powerful and you're going to fucking meditate and pray to it? I don't know, dude. That's just weird. And I know I sound super judgy and I have a crystal, but I don't think it does anything for my chakras, you know? I'm not going to go do some tarot readings and, uh, you know, tell you how I think that in your previous life you were... um, abused and uh, this is your life to redeem yourself because you're a Virgo and you should fucking go for it. Like that shit is so dumb to me, dude. Looking up in the sky and seeing that if Mercury's in retrograde, oh, that's why I feel depressed this week. Like, no, it's not. It's probably because you slept till noon and then you had flaming hot Cheetos for breakfast and then you sat on your ass for 10 hours. You know, it's like... How about you have some water, get eight hours of sleep, get up early, and go to the fucking gym. Do that for a week. Tell me how you feel, guys. Legit. Do that for one week and tell me that you don't feel so much better, you know? Um, But just ranting, you know, I did say it was probably going to be a shorter type of episode today. Uh, Really what I'm trying to do is just get my name out there, get the word out on the streets, uh, keep recording, keep you know, uh, dropping these pods, man. Um, shout out to everybody on Discord, Yog, Milo, Sul- Sulkos, whatever your name is, Mike. Uh, you know, sick fucking uh, channel, dude. And um, just be careful out there, guys, because, like, inflation, that shit's real. Food prices are still going up. Here's an article. Inflation hits Americans' grocery bills as food prices uh, accelerate. That fucking... Uh, Stepford wife in the White House, the secretary, uh, what's her name? The, 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 the press secretary, whatever her fucking name is, I don't care. She uh, completely denies any sort of uh, inflation being um, uh, um, present or possible. 
she actually says the market is um, trending upward. Are you on Coke? No, I'm asking. Because, you know, last time I bought bananas, they were $29. And uh, they're not supposed to cost that much money. Okay. Oh, gas has gone down? It's still three ninety nine. Do you realize it was a buck eighty seven, and that's in North Carolina? My mom works in South Carolina. Shit was like one sixty four. My G could have filled up my Corolla for a twenty sack. Now that won't even afford a fucking dozen eggs. This is fucking madness. And if you don't see it, you're you might be part of the problem. Fuck out of here with the inflation and protesting about. Stuff that doesn't even matter. All right. Trying to make a life for my, uh, you know, of future grandkids here. Um, if we have a nuclear war with China, then that's what's meant to be. But uh, for now, can I just not pay my savings away to go to Harris Teeter or uh, Publix or wherever you boomers and millennials like to shop? Can't even can't even mess around in Whole Foods anymore. God, I walk in that place and my savings account is just beeping in my phone. Like, get the fuck out of here, run. You know, pretty soon they're gonna have IRS agents at the fucking uh, entrance of Trader Joe's. You know, asking you for your pin, and then they're gonna give you a social credit score. Watch out, guys, because that shit is legit coming. Social credit scores, just like in China, it's a real thing. So, uh, just like I said last time, I, I might just have to go move out to Europe for a bit, man. Take some time. Me and God. Just me and the Lord. Fuck everything else, man. But, uh, that's it. That's all I got tonight, going to a concert. And, uh, hopefully there's not an active shooter situation. <laughs> all right, bye. <laughs>